see Noemi. Hello, everybody. I'm Brian Keegan from Chartered Accountants Ireland, as Noemi has mentioned. Um, we started work quite intensively uh, on our training for our members, both pre-qualification and post-qualification on sustainability issues. I don't think anybody on the room, anybody online, should underestimate the demand for this kind of training, but also underestimate or overestimate the amount of knowledge that's out there. I know that all of you online, all of you here in the room, are well familiar with fundamental concepts, with what is in play. Most of our membership are not. And we we're very conscious of that in Chartered Accountants Ireland, particularly as maybe slightly unusually within Accountants Europe, most of our members, two thirds of our members work in industry rather than in practice. And we've concentrated quite a bit in the earlier sessions on what's going on in terms of assurance. But for an awful lot of our members, what they're going to be very interested in is the whole reporting process. So we did start back in 2019 with our pre-qualification curriculum, introducing concepts like corporate social responsibility and developing case studies, asking our students to reflect their knowledge of corporate social responsibility principles in coming to the right decisions. This is the next phase. And um, previous speakers, Noemi included, has, have introduced the real problem that we have as educators. What do we teach people because we don't have standards? Actually, I'm wrong in that. We have too many standards. Uh, what we really need to see is FRAG and the ISSB really knocking heads together because the great advantage of this profession is that we're not just a national profession or a European profession, we're a global profession. And if the standards are global, that gives us a competitive advantage over everybody else. So what have we done to date? We've come up with a pyramid. What we're trying to do is we're trying to recognize that different categories of accountants are going to have different requirements and levels of knowledge in terms of what they have. So at board level, they're going to need very concise briefings. Um, then looking at specialist qualifications, targeted diplomas, we've already introduced one um, running this year. It's on a profound understanding of sustainability principles. And then we're introducing things like master classes, short courses and webinars, and then on demand and online content. And it's not just Chartered Accountants Ireland in the Irish context, our friends and colleagues in CPA Ireland, I know are developing micro qualifications as well. So we could do sort of a deep dive into what kind of things we're covering, but just to give you some very small sense of what we're asking people to understand, we wanted to understand the challenges. We want them to be able to identify the risks. We want them to be able to communicate to their stakeholders what's at issue. I'd leave you with three thoughts, if I might, because Noemi has told me two minutes. I've probably gone beyond that already. But uh, there we go. Um, the Irish are not known for being short-winded. We tend to go on a little bit. There we go. Um, first of all, when you're developing these courses, you may need to consider collaborating with outside experts. Surprisingly, accountants, not even Irish chartered accountants, know everything about everything. And you may need to go outside and to have recourse to um, outside experts to develop your courses at pace. Secondly, we think you need to revise some form of certification. I think, um, I think it was Eleni that made the point that we need to prove our expertise. And we as professional accounting organizations need to be able to prove our expertise among our membership that we know what we're at. And the third thing is we cannot afford to wait for the finalization of the standards. We need to start the conversations now. We need to generate the awareness now. We need to create the context now. Thank you very much indeed.